Well, Donald Trump just gave China the worst news ever, and they are not pleased. David Brunstrom for Reuters reports that the new U.S. administration of President Donald J. Trump vowed on Monday that the United States would prevent China from taking over territory in international waters in the South China Sea. This is actually a very, very uh, historic statement, okay, saying that he would prevent China. They're right here, this is something that Chinese state media warned would require Washington to wage war. This is dangerous territory that we're, we're treading into now. First of all, my personal opinion on this, look, the Chinese are going to build those things. Uh, is it our responsibility to go into the South China Sea and stop them? No, I don't think so. I think it would be more of the responsibility of Japan, the Philippines, Vietnam, uh, and those nations. Uh, Australia, perhaps. But the nations that all compete for the jurisdictional province of those islands. Not the United States. So, this is a position that I disagree with on Trump, that... Um, we need to go to war. Well, China says that we'd have to wage war. Trump's saying it's, we're gonna, not going to let you do it. So I don't know how he intends to do that, but China has already said that's going to cause a war. Wonderful. The right, the, um, right here that the comments at the briefing from White House spokesman Sean Spicer signaled a sharp departure from years of cautious U.S. handling of China's assertive pursuit of territory claims in Asia just days after Trump took office on Friday. They state here, the U.S. is going to make sure that we protect our interests there, Spicer said, when asked if Trump agreed with comments by the Secretary of State nominee Rex Tillerson on January 11th that China should not be allowed to access its islands it had built, in the, built in the contested South China Sea. It's a question of if those islands are in fact in international waters and not, not part of China proper, then yeah, we're going to make sure that we defend international territories from being taken over by one country, he said. They say Tillerson's remarks at his Senate confirmation hearing prompted Chinese state media to say the United States would need to wage war to bar China's access to the islands where it has built military-length airstrips and installed weapons systems. So, the escalation in the South China Sea continues. Now, even under the Obama administration, the Obama military, the Obama Pentagon, continually tested the boundaries, literal boundaries, of the 12-mile zone, that extends out from each of these islands, sending aircraft carrier battle groups, sending uh, destroyers, uh, sending all types of aircraft and submarines and spy uh, planes in the area. So Obama was constantly testing, testing, testing to see how far they could push China. Well, now the rhetoric has just been amplified, and China says that it will trigger a war. So not such good news on the horizon. We're seeing uh, tensions amplified in China. And of course, we've also seen uh, North Korea, as we just reported, have now moved two ICBMs into firing position. So we're going to continue to monitor what's happening in Asia right here at the Next News Network, bring you the latest. What are your thoughts on this rhetoric? Comment below. Subscribe for updates. If you like what we're doing, give us a thumbs up and share this report on your social networks. For the Next News Network, I'm Gary Franchi. You possess the power to impact the global narrative. Please share this report. And to get more videos like this, become a Next News subscriber by clicking the link below. Thank you for watching the Next News Network.